What is up, guys? What is up? Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below if you have any question. Hey, uh, let's get straight to it. If you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to shoot me an email. Question one, perform the indicated operation. So um, within this segment, I'm doing a part one, part two, maybe part three. What we're going to be focusing on part one right now is adding and subtracting like terms. Okay, so by that, uh, one way, I guess, uh, basically to solve this, uh, this is how I kind of like to do it, is um, I'll look at this and I'll just basically saying all we're just doing is taking apples to apples and we're combining them together, okay? And by that, what I mean is in order for, for the first step, what you would have to do is you would have to look at the variables, correct? That's provided, so we have AB squared right here. And then you look on the other side, see how there's an addition? Correct? Act like that's the wall right there. Okay, we'll act like that addition sign is a wall. Look on the other side of the addition and we're gonna see, hey, is there also an AB square? Okay, so there is an AB square here, there's an AB square there. Forget about the coefficient written out front, we're just focusing on the variables, okay? Now we're looking at A square B right here, A square B right here, A B, A B, okay? Bam. Since we got that taken care of, now that we got one apple on one side of the wall and the other apple on the other side of the wall, all we would have to do from here, basically, is just uh, do what's being asked, okay? So what's being asked right now is basically uh, performing the indicated operation and we're just basically adding the like terms. So in other words, if we look right here, we have three times A times B squared, correct? So uh, one way to solve this is I'll put a parentheses like this, correct? And I'll just write down what I have on this side, correct? And then look on this side, and we see right here, it's negative A times B squared, okay? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But remember, this is a negative one, so don't forget that, okay? There's an imaginary one, but it's not obviously written there. It's just something that we should know. So it should be written something like this, correct? So then we keep going, all right? Now we're adding again. We're just following the rules right here. So next, uh, the a squared b. So you do negative four a squared b. Then you look on this side and you see a negative five a squared b, okay? So that's all you have to do. Like I said, don't try to overthink anything make anything complicated and then same rule applies negative 2ab on this side of the wall and then look ab right there so negative 2ab on this side of the wall plus aab correct like i said don't overcomplicate it and then last but not least we're adding an addition sign and we have the six and the four so six plus the four. Okay, so now that we have this situated, in order for us to kind of simplify this, break it down, um, is if you watch the other previous videos, there's something called, you know, basically all we were doing is we were grouping um, the, the variables with whatever was, you know, provided in the side of the parentheses. So by that, what I mean is, I'll kind of show you, is since we're looking at this three minus one and you're looking that we both have the same variable indicated in other words we can write it like this i'll bring this up we can write it like three minus one correct have this outside plus same rule applies so you just take the coefficient minus the other coefficient right there correct because look, there's the same variable, so all we're just doing is taking the numbers out. Just to make it easier, you can, you know, you can do it this way. You can go ahead and solve for it immediately. But, you know, I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible, just so you can see. Okay, so now that we have this written, now all we have to do is just solve. So 3 minus 1 is 2a squared, correct? Now next is negative five, four minus five. In other words, this is just saying negative nine. And then look at the variable indicated right there. Next is negative two plus eight. That's a positive six AB. And then six plus four is 10. 
So that right there should be your final answer. Okay? All right, I'm going to do uh, two more examples. Okay, so next, let's say we have uh, something, I guess. Let's switch it up a little bit. Um, a good example that I'll probably do is, let's say we have something written like this. Okay. Let's say we had something written like this, okay? This is for example two. So if we had something written like this for example two, like I said, no need for me to kind of, you know, explain because I kind of broke it down with the example one, but one rule of thumb that'll make your life a lot easier is remember in the beginning we had an addition side on our wall remember like I was saying make make sure you look at whatever operations given as a wall now look down here we have a negative sign as our wall so to make your life a lot easier what you would do is just basically distribute this correct into everything okay that's that's gonna make your life a lot easier so therefore, if you were to rewrite this, correct, since all, all we basically did, okay, so now that, now think about this, now this stays the same because we never touched this, this one right here, what's written inside the parentheses stays the same, but since we have this negative sign and we distribute it to basically everything within this parentheses, this negative turns back to positive. But then, since this is negative, correct, this 5 right here is now negative 5x squared. This is negative, so negative times a negative gives you a positive, correct? And then we also have this negative right here. That's also a positive x cubed, correct? And then this positive 4 right there is now a negative four okay so just keep that in mind okay so now that we have that situated and basically taken care of now everything we did with question one we can now do with question two and like I said just make sure you look at it like it's a wall so um, first things first you find orange to orange that's it basically so we have x square here x square here we have an x here x here x cube here and x cube here okay so now, like I said, since we're comparing it orange to oranges, um, it should be a lot easier. So when we're looking at this, correct, we can we can already see there's a 3x squared here, and there's a negative 5x uh, squared right there. So kind of like what I did right here, how we basically simplified it. I'm going to do the same right here, okay? So basically, I'm going to just kind of skip this step and just go straight to simplifying it like there. So since we have this 3, it's a negative 5, correct? And then another addition sign. And then now we're looking for the x's, correct? So now we can see it's a negative 2, but it's a positive 8. The x goes off front. And then, well, oops, excuse me, the x goes in this back right here. And the next thing is our x cube, x cube. Same rule applies, but the catch, the catch 22 with this one is, like I was saying with uh, this equation kind of written right here, there's an imaginary one right there. So we're going to do the same with right here. There's an imaginary one here, an imaginary one there. So in other words, it's just basically saying negative 1 plus 1 x cubed, okay? All right, and then last but not least, we have the 2 here, and then we have the negative 4. So 2 minus 4. Okay, so now we can solve. So 3 minus 2, negative 2x, correct? Plus negative 2 plus 8. 
gives you basically six and then don't forget the x right there okay and then negative one plus one in other words this just gives you zero correct so since we had this under parentheses correct so this is negative one plus one and this is x cube correct this is basically saying zero times x cube so in other words this no longer exists so that goes bye bye okay so then last but not least all we have here is 2 minus 4 and you get negative 2 so that right there should be your final answer okay um, I was thinking about doing another one but that's this is pretty much the gist of it it's pretty self-explanatory like I said if you have any other more questions uh, please feel free to uh, message me, uh, shoot me a, a text, uh, email, whatever you prefer. But actually, um, hmm, before I do sign out, I actually do have something that I would like to show you that's a little different that you guys actually might appreciate before I actually sign off. So, and I'll show you what I mean by different. This one's actually nice. I just stumbled upon this question. You probably thank me for this one. But this time I'll go a little faster. Okay. So, the trick with this one, correct, is remember what I said, we're comparing oranges to oranges. So if you look here, you see there's an X4 here. But if you look on the other side of this wall, you do not, remember, this is negative 5X, that's technically 1, okay? If you look on this other side of the wall, there is no x4. So you're probably sitting there thinking, what in the world am I going to do? But then if you look on this side of the wall, you see x, right? you see that? x cubed. But then if you look here on this side of the wall, there's no x cubed. So in other words, when you're breaking this down, this right here still stays, correct? Because we're comparing oranges to oranges, so we can't simplify it, in other words. And then same with this right here, this 3x cubed, you know, this x cubed also stays. Because we can't simplify that as well because we're comparing orange to orange. So I'll quickly kind of, you know, show you this. I don't need to explain too much because you guys, you know, kind of get the hang of it. So since you're looking at this, you already know that basically this stays the same. Correct. Since we distribute this, this is now addition, but now this is a negative 3x cubed, positive, negative. Okay? So that's what we know right now. Okay, so basically, same rule applies. We look at this orange. Is there another one? No, so this just drops down. Okay? Simple. Because there's nothing in, there's no like terms to compare to. Okay, so next, you would probably think, all right, I should go negative 3x squared, and then, oh, look, right here, there's a negative 1x squared. But uh, if you watched the previous video uh, that I posted on my channel a while ago, there's something called degrees. So with degrees, you got to make sure that it is descending, correct, from largest to smallest, so going 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, see if we were to solve this x squared, it would go 4, 2, and then 3, and then 1. No, it's not supposed to go like that. It's supposed to go in numerical order from biggest, so the largest degree, to the smallest. So now 4 is the largest, so then next what we would focus on would be 3. So it would basically be written x4, then we have our addition sign, correct, minus, and don't worry, we'll simplify this, minus the three cube okay so we'll keep that for we'll keep that there for now okay just to keep that in the back of our head so then next we'll add our another addition sign correct and now we'll focus on our our two number two as in our uh, x square for our degree so right here and right here so if we look right here we see it's written as negative three correct and then there's our 1, so this is negative 1, 
correct? And then our like terms is x squared. Then another addition sign, now we go down to one. So we have a positive four, positive five, x, correct? And then we see there's negative three right here. And that's the lone wolf, so that just goes out there. So now when we're simplifying it, it should be written as x4 minus 3x cubed. Look at it, so 4, 3. Next is negative 3 minus 1. You get negative 4x squared. So 4, 3, 2. Now 5 plus 4, you get 9, correct? Here's 1, so 4, 3, 2, 1, correct? And then you get your negative 3, since that was the lone wolf. And this right here is your final answer. Kind of tricky. I like that. A little different. Like I say, guys, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. Hope you enjoy this uh, nice little tutorial and you understood performing the indicated operation of addition and subtraction. Thank you.